Hi Judgers! Welcome to another segment of Juan Arliwag Memorial High School, Senior High School Math TV. Last time, we were able to transform an equation of the parabola from general to standard and from standard to general. But for today's video lesson, what we will be doing is to transform an equation of an ellipse from the general form to its standard form and from its standard form to the general form. But before um, we transform an equation of the ellipse, we should be able to identify first its general form and standard form. So when we say ellipse, its general form is given by the equation ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero. So this is the general form of an ellipse. Remember that if A is equal to C, it is not anymore an ellipse. It becomes a circle. Okay. Therefore, A should not be equal to C. The coefficients of x squared and y squared are A and C. Again, if A is equal to C, it becomes a circle. Therefore, A should not be equal to C. Okay? And from its standard form, its standard form is given by the equation x minus h quantity squared over a squared plus y minus k quantity squared over b squared is equal to 1. Okay? So this is the standard form and this is the general form. For this standard form, we will be able to identify the center and the axis, whether it is major axis or major axis vertical or major horizontal axis. So we will be able to determine whether an ellipse is vertical or an ellipse is horizontal. So we are now given here equations in general form and we should be able to transform this to standard form. Okay, again, what will be the keyword here now if we are given general and we, we need to transform that into the standard form? Very good. We need to complete the square. And in this case, always remember that ellipse has two variables being squared, x squared and y squared. Unlike in parabola, that only one variable is being squared. For example, we have x squared plus 4y or we have y squared minus 7x. So in that case, only one variable is being squared. But for this one, we have two variables. Therefore, we need to complete those two variables. We need to complete the squares of those two variables. So let's start for this one. We are given 4y squared plus 9x squared minus 24y minus 72x plus 144 is equal to 0. So what are we going to do? Okay. So we have 4y squared and then 9x squared. So I will arrange this first. So I will group all the variables with x, therefore that becomes 9x squared, and then we are given minus 72x, write down minus 72x, and then all the values with y, that becomes plus 4y squared, and then we have minus 24y, and transfer all the constants to the right side. Therefore, if this is positive 144, it becomes negative 100. 44. Okay, and in this case, we now need to complete the square. But before completing the square, remember that there are coefficients of x squared and y squared. So what are we going to do? Very good. We need to factor out the coefficients of x squared and y squared. And in this case, the coefficient of x squared is 9. Therefore, factor out 9. And that becomes 9 times x squared minus we have here 72x, 72, 72x divided by 9, therefore, we should have minus 8x. And then, we move on with the y variable. Since this is plus 4y squared, therefore, that becomes 4 times y squared. Negative 24y divided by 4 will give us an answer of negative 6y. And then, that is now equal to negative 144 and we're now ready to complete the square for the x variable and for the y variable so let's start with the first one so this becomes 9 times x squared minus 8x plus 
what do we add here now? That should be negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 squared would be positive 16. So, what are we adding to the right side? Plus 16? Is this only plus 16? No. What are we going to do? Therefore, there is a factor 9. And we need to multiply this by the factor. Okay? Plus... 4 times the quantity y squared minus 6y, what should be added in order for this to be completed? Therefore, that is negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared becomes positive 9. So, are we only adding 9? No. We should be adding 9 times the factor, which is 4. Okay. So, let us now try to simplify. So, in simplifying, this becomes 9 times. What will be the factor of x squared minus 8x plus 16? It is now a perfect square trinomial. Therefore, this becomes 9 times the quantity x minus 4 squared. Plus 4 times. What will now be the factor of this one? y squared minus 6y plus 9. It becomes y minus 3 quantity squared is now equal to negative 144. 16 times 9 is positive 144. 9 times 4 will give us an answer of very good. That is plus 36. Simplifying the right side, we will be having negative 144 plus 144. Cancel that out. And then we're left with 36. Rewrite the left side. That is 9 times the quantity x minus 4 squared plus 4 times the quantity y minus 3 squared. So what are we going to do now? Okay. Remember that this is 36. And always remember that the right side of an equation or the standard equation of an ellipse must always be equal to 1. And in order for this whole equation to be equal to 1, what are we going to do? Exactly. We need to divide both sides by 36. Therefore, this is over 36, this is over 36, and this is over 36. So, let us now get the simplified form. So, in order for you to get the denominator, this is the technique. This is the real denominator and then divide that by the number or the factor of the numerator. That is 36 divided by 9. What is 36 divided by 9? Yes, that is 4. This should be over 4. What is 36 divided by 4? Very good. That is 9. Okay? And then write down x minus 4 quantity squared. And then for this one, we have y minus 3 quantity squared is equal now to what is 36 over 36 very good that is 1 and in this case this is now the standard form of an ellipse its general form is 4y squared plus 9x squared minus 24y minus 72x plus 144 is equal to 0 and its transform standard form will be x minus 4 quantity squared over 4 plus y minus 3 quantity squared over 9 is equal to 1. Okay, so before we move on to our next problem, let us first identify the center. The center of, an, of the ellipse is given at 4, positive 3. And this is major vertical axis. Major vertical axis. And what can we say about this ellipse? Therefore, this ellipse is vertical. Why? Why vertical? Because 9 is greater than 4. Since we have 9, it comes with y squared. And it is greater than 4, which comes with x squared. Therefore, we could say that this is vertical ellipse. So, it might be we might have this kind of ellipse or the graph of ellipse is just like this one. Okay, so let's move on with the second one. For the second one, we are given 9x squared plus 16y minus 126x plus 64y is equal to 71. So again, 
we need to group all the variables with x and then group all the variables with y. So, okay. Okay. So, in this case, we will be having 9x squared minus 126x. And then, we, this should be plus 16y squared. Okay. That should be plus 16y squared. And then, plus 64y is equal to 71. Okay. Since we have here 9x squared, therefore, we have a coefficient of 9. And we need to factor that out. And this becomes 9 times the quantity x squared. Negative 126 divided by 9 will give us an answer of negative 14x. Plus, we have here a coefficient of 16 for the y squared. Therefore, factor that out. Therefore, this becomes 16 times y squared plus 64y divided by 16. Very good. That is 4y is equal to 71. So, we're now ready to complete the square. So, this becomes 9 times x squared plus 14x plus what do we add here? Negative 14 divided by 2 is negative 7. Negative 7 squared is 49. Therefore, this becomes 71 plus 49 only. No, we need to multiply that by 9. Okay, plus 16 times y squared plus 4y. So what do we add here? So we will be adding there is, it is 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 squared, which is 4. Therefore, we need to add here 4 times the factor, which is 16. Okay, so let's now get the factors. Perfect square trinomial, x squared minus 14x plus 49. The factors would be that is x, since the, the, the sign of the middle term is negative, write down there negative. So that is x minus square root of 49 is 7. Plus 16 times y squared plus 4, y plus 4, that becomes y. Since the middle term is positive, write down plus there. Square root of 4, that is 2. Quantity squared is now equal to 71 plus 49 times 9 is 441 plus 4 times 16 is 64. Simplifying the right side, let's get the sum of the right side, 71, 441, and 64. That will give us an answer of 576. Rewrite the left side, that is 9 times the quantity x minus 7 squared plus 16 times the quantity y plus 2 squared. We know that for an ellipse, its standard equation, the right side of the standard equation of an ellipse is always equal to 1. Therefore, we need to divide both sides by the value on the right side, and that is 576. Divide 576, divide 576. And in this case, that is 576 divided by 9. What happens? That becomes 64. And then write down x minus 7 quantity squared plus. 576 divided by 16, If it gives us 36. And that is y plus 2 quantity squared is now equal to 576 divided by 576. That is 1. So what can we say? 64 is greater than 36. Okay? Therefore, in this case, this is major what? 64 comes with x. That is major horizontal axis. If that is major horizontal axis, therefore, we could say that the ellipse is horizontal. And if the ellipse is horizontal, this might be the graph of our ellipse. Okay? So, again, if the denominator of the standard form of an ellipse for this one, um, the denominator of x squared is greater than the denominator of that of the y squared. Therefore, we could say that that is major horizontal axis. So let us identify the center. Where is the center? The center is now located at positive 7, negative 2.
Okay? So, therefore, this is now the standard. This is now the standard form of the general form 9x squared plus 16y squared minus 126x plus 64y plus 71 plus 64y is equal to 71. Okay? So, let's have the last example. Okay, so let's have the last example. Example number 3. Okay. For example number 3, we are given x 16x squared. We are given 16x squared plus 96x plus 7y squared plus 14y plus 39 is equal to 0. Must be 39. Again, that is 16x squared plus 96x plus 7y squared plus 14y plus 39 is equal to 0. Again, first step is to um, arrange. So we have 16x squared plus 96x plus 7y squared plus 14y. This is the constant. Transfer that to the other side. If that is positive 39, it becomes negative 39. Okay. Since we have 16x squared, we need to factor out the coefficient of x squared, and that is 16. Therefore, that is 16 times x squared, 96x, divided by 16, that becomes 6x. And we have here 7y squared, therefore, factor out 7. We have 7 times the quantity y squared plus 14 divided by 7, that is plus 2y is now equal to negative 39. Okay? Therefore, we'll be having 16 times we need to complete the square. This is x squared plus 6x plus, what do we add here? 6 divided by 2, 3. 3 squared is 9. Plus 7 times y squared plus 2y plus, what do we add here? 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 squared is just 1. Is now equal to negative 39 plus 9 times 16, since that is the factor, plus 1 times 7, because that is the factor. Okay, we now have perfect square trinomials. This becomes 16 times, what will be the factor of x squared plus 6x plus 9? Therefore, that is x plus square root of 9, which is 3, quantity squared plus 7 times the quantity y plus 1 squared is now equal to negative 39 simplify that is negative 39 plus 9 times 16 is 144 okay 1 times 7 is what is 1 times 7 that is 7 simplifying the right side, we have negative 39 plus 144 plus 7. Therefore, we will be having 112. Rewrite the left side. That is 16 times the quantity um, x plus 3 squared plus 7 times the quantity y plus 1 squared. Since the right side is 112, divide both sides by 112. Divide both sides by 112. Okay. Again, the technique. Denominator divided by the factor. That is 112 divided by 16. That becomes 7. The numerator now is x plus 3 quantity squared. Plus 112 divided by 7. That becomes 16. And we'll be having y plus 1 quantity squared is equal to 112 divided by 112. Very good. That is 1. So, let us now identify the center. The center is located at negative 3, negative 1. We could say that 16 is greater than 7. If 16 is greater than 7 and it comes with y, 16 comes with y. Therefore, we could say that this is major vertical. That is major vertical axis. Or we could say that the ellipse is vertical or this one okay 
So again, the general form of the ellipse is ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero. While its standard form is x minus h quantity squared over a squared plus y minus k quantity squared over b squared is equal to one. If you still have questions, comments, and suggestions, you may contact me on Facebook or my YouTube account. Once again, I am Engineer Jod Edwards A. Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.